And we're back. We are. Okay. Okay. All right, so what do we have next, we're Mr. We're going to do the self genator. Okay. Genator. Like. So the self genator literally gives you the power to turn yourself into a degen. They and can't see all the stones, though. You got to, like... I mean, that's just how the design is. I can't yeah. move them any further. And it has a leaf. Yeah, it's got. And it's leaves. crazy it's looking. Got, it, is, it is crazy looking. And it's maybe a little bit ugly, but it doesn't matter about that because it lets you turn yourself into a degen, which allows you to grant your own wishes. Yeah, let me show it to you. Now, I would not suggest wearing this out. You yeah. can if you want to. No, don't. Like, if you're in, like, a nudist colony or something, and that's <laughs> all you're wearing, it would be okay. But, um, if not, you would stick with that at home. This yeah. is a 30-day process with this piece. Mm -hmm. You need to at least put it on every day for 30 days. 30 days. 30 days. Yes, 30 days. <laughs> um, some pieces are quicker than others, but this one has to work slowly. Right. I'm not saying it's like a transformation, but technically it kind of almost is. Where kinda. you become your own Dijin. Right. And what you need to do before you wear it is decide what kind you want to become. Blue Ifrit Jin, you could be a red Jin, purple wealth Jin, whatever you want to be. Yep, whatever. Royal, it doesn't matter. But you undo the clasp, you hold it in each hand, one clasp in each hand, and that's when you'll say what you wanted, what you want to do. You'll put it on. You only need to wear it five or ten minutes, but you have to do it every day for 30 days. 30 days. And the, the possibilities of that are, are pretty much endless. It's definitely endless. It, it, it is just, it's just a really good piece. Yes. All right. Um, what else do we have here? Let's do the wealth one with all the Buddhas on it. I, I, cause I like, oh wait, you want to do that? Okay. This is a minus. I touch. like this one too. This also does wealth, um, but it allows you to turn things into wealth. It so, makes you very lucky and, and it makes you lucky in abundance is what this does. Yes, but also Whatever you touch. Yes, but also if you hold money in your hand, it'll bring you money. Yep, hold money brings you money. Yep. Um anything you touch. Gold, like, silver. If if you if you get into real estate, you'll make millions. Yeah. If you get into uh, the stock market, if you um, it's basically just to bring you money. It's whatever you touch, you turn into something very profitable. Yep. Cars. So, yep. That that's that's what the that's just what it is. Like yeah, if you want to redo cars, I like classic cars. Yeah. You get a classic car and redo it and send it to uh, what is it Barrett and Jackson? Is it is it Barrett's or God? I forget what it's called. I don't know. Barrett's Auto Auction or something. I love watching that on TV. Um, you could get into something like that. It's just basically whatever you want to Antiques, do. Antiques, collectibles. Yeah, anything. If you, if you even if you eBay have an business. eBay business and you've been yeah. struggling to sell. eBay business, it's great for that. Okay, what else do you have? And trust me, nothing on eBay is great. This is the tier of the witch. Okay. The one that I thought was earlier, but it wasn't. Yeah. This is this for is love. The witch's tier. The witch's tier. Yep. Um, it's for love. That's what it does. Um. It was created by that witch in Virginia that we know that does all the love pieces, remember? Mm hmm And she did this piece because she wanted to find true love. And it's uh, painted in gold. It's ceramic. ceramic glazed. And then painted in um, 24 karat gold. And what you do is you wear this piece to find your true love so you don't have to have tears anymore. That's it. There you That's go. It. What's the next one? This piece is called the Triple Kiss of Lilith, and it does... Nothing but seduction. seduction. Triple seduction. That's all it does. It will allow you, if you're a man or a woman, whatever you are, if you don't know what you are, it'll allow you to find people that... Or allow you to seduce the people that you want to seduce. And that's at anything. It doesn't have to be love. Yeah, it doesn't have to be love. It could be like if you're trying to seduce people because you want to get their money or their properties. We, we or, don't say, you know, suggest that, but... Whatever. We are talking about Lilith here, so it is definitely a dual magic piece. All right, I want to go to those Buddhas now. The what? The, the Buddhas you with have, a locket. You have the file on those Buddhas. I know. I have it. Okay. I just want to show it. I, I, liked, I love this piece a lot. 
Okay, so you have your two Buddhas. You have some stones and you have a locket and the locket opens. Oh. Yep, flip it over now. I need to go further back so they can and see You can put a picture or a note in there. Picture, note, or your name. Now what you really should do in there is put your name in there. A little piece of paper, put your name, clamp it up. And they begin to work for you. This is strictly wealth. It brings uh, a circle of wealth to you. Uh, it brings a circle of abundance. Um, it makes you happy in life because you have what you need. It, th I, this is one of my favorite pieces, I'll, I'll be honest with you. But I like a lot of the uh, Asian jewelry anyway. I always have. Always have. And, and if they're antique, I like it. I like it all the more better. Okay, so show me another one. Show me what you got. This is Spocky. the eyes of the Virgin Mary. Yes. Okay, show them that. And that... Actually, bring it over here a little more. Like, bring it over here. Okay. So they can see that. Because the light's so bad. Like, you're not... You're not being able to see what this stone does. Where if... Yeah, let me try to go like this. Okay, t sit it up a little more. Let's see if they can get a... Keep sitting it up. Okay, this... Re the, the center stone here is the Palace of the Virgin Mary. Where, where she can tell you the things you need to know, grant miracles. It, it, it's, it's not that she lives inside the piece, but it is the opening to the portal where you can contact her and access her easily. Cool. But what she lives in is called a crystal palace. Right. A heavenly crystal palace. And this is how you access it. And that's that piece. And I like that one a lot, too. All right. Okay, show me what else you got. You want to do the one that you can... Yeah, that one. This one? Yeah. So now, this is all real gemstones. Um, hopefully, you can see some of the colors on here. You have, um, you have amethyst. You have... Let me open it up. Um, it, what looks like could be jade. You have some gold stone. If, if the camera is picking that up correctly. You may have some peridot in there. I'm not too sure, but they're all real. All the stones are real. And then over here, you have a glass piece, which mm -hmm. has an indentation in the center of it. Now, Steve, this can be used many ways. Tell them about the incense and or blood drop. So you put either a drop of your own blood in there or an incense cone and it... Sit still, sit still. When, when I tested it, it summoned the Witch of Endor. Who was able to give but me... But now it's summoned her because that's who you wanted to summon, right? right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because pretend I'm a customer. They're going to be like... And it allowed me, through the Witch of Endor, to be able to summon prophets and angels to be able to gain white light magic and ability. Okay. To gain... To be able to grant miracles, to be able to have prophecy, that type of thing. Wealth. wealth. It's very good for wealth. Very good with wealth. Um, that's... And also the earth, um, what do you call that? The element? Yes, yes, yes. Elemental magic. Yep. Um, if you want to summon a Jijin, it'll do that. If you want to summon, basically. Now to do that, you have to burn that incense count. I'm going to make that very clear to you. Right, for, for the for the Jin, yeah. Um, it can do basically, you can basically any summon any type of um, God magical entity that you want with that. You just got to either put a drop of your blood or an incense cone. Um, but the, with the Dijin, you do have to use the incense cone. And you have full protection using this piece. Correct, when you're wearing it. Yeah, so you don't have to worry about um, not just wearing it, but well, just yeah, owning it. it. Sorry. Yep, we got to be clear to them, some I of know, them. I'm sorry. Or you're going to get 50 million piece, uh, emails. Go oh, ahead. When you're using the piece, you're under full protection at all times. Okay. That. <laughs> just owning it. Just owning it, though. You have the, the protection, so you don't right. have to worry about... Well, I called something here and it didn't leave. Because that didn't yeah. happen with this piece. Oh, Lord, look at these fools. It leaves. What are you... Oh, I'm looking at the TV. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Um, you want to tell them about this piece? Which one's that? No, I don't want to do that one. I want to do the one that's the landing charging, or I want to do the angel earrings. What, what, or, what was the first one you said? Or the planchette one. How about we do uh, the 
you know what? Well, we will be right back. <laughs> 